All right, guys. So the next thing that we're gonna do, we're basically gonna take this bio section and we're going to build it. So let's get started. Let's come back here to our Atom. We're gonna go to the index.html. We're gonna come here. This is our top section. We're gonna create another section. We're gonna say section. Okay. We're gonna give it an ID of bio. Okay. And then we have two different sections. We have one which is the bio, which is like a paragraph. And the next one is a section for the logo. Okay. So we're going to come here. We're going to create a P tag. Okay. You guys already have this files here. So open up the bio, copy this. Those are the files that we downloaded before. Okay. Paste that in here okay one thing that i usually like to do is i like to go to the settings and go to my editor and put in soft wrap okay the reason why i like to do that is because now as you guys can see it stays within the size of the window okay you know, so the line won't be like, you know, 30,000 lines to the right. It'll be looking like a paragraph here in our editor. Okay. And then it tells us like, hey, every single dot here, it means it's part of that single line. Okay. So let's save that. Okay. I'm going to open up this. So you can see it's actually... Uh, moving all the way to the top and that's not what we want okay so let me make sure of something let me see we got top section positive position relative that's fine okay and this we're gonna say height 100 vh save that and as you can see now, that brings it down. Okay, cool. Now, let's come here. You got the bio. Let's do the styles later. Let's just finish this. Okay, so we got the paragraph, okay? The other part is going to be a div with the class of uh, logo or center logo centered okay so that created the div let's copy this this image that we have up here which is the image of the logo paste that in okay now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to come here we're going to do ID of bio and then let me bring this up a little bit more for you guys. ID of bio. We got a paragraph. We also have uh, what was it? The class of uh, logo centered. Okay. So in this one, we're going to do is we're going to display flex. Okay. Hold on. Oops. Display flex. And we're going to say justify content centered. Align items centered. So that's going to basically position it right in the middle. And that's what we want. Okay. Now the next thing that we want, we also going to do display flex, justify content, uh, centered, no, no, matter of fact, not justify content center, 
uh, we're gonna say display flex which is gonna put the items right next to each other okay and we're gonna say display flex we're gonna say for the paragraph we're gonna say with 50% We're going to say with 50% for the logo centered. Okay. Now we're going to give the paragraph a color of white. Okay. I'm going to say line height. Let's put in 1.5. Okay, let's put in font size 0.9 rem. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. The line, the space between the lines. Okay, so that's fine. All right, let me see what else. We're going to come here on this bio. We're going to basically create a padding of, let's say, 50 pixels all around. 50 pixels all around. We're going to say background black. Okay. And as you can see, because of the the blur, this thing is going over this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say position uh, relative Z index three. And as you can see, now we're actually above this uh, section here. So now nothing is leaking to our section here okay so currently right now this is how it looks full screen I kind of want to make this a little bit smaller as far as like maybe put it in a container so let me see something um, see how this looks okay yeah I think I'm gonna put it in a container because right now currently it's full screen but it's a little bit too much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a container around so I'm gonna say let's say uh, container and container is gonna be max width say max width 1400 pixels okay now there's the bio there's the section there's the bio okay so do like this I'm gonna put this container oops yeah container and here I'm gonna put all the elements inside of the container Okay. Okay, that's more reasonable. All right, we got max width fourteen hundred. Okay, that's fine. In here, I'm gonna put in the class of container, and inside of this, I'm gonna put in. Let me see. I'm going to move the display flex inside of the, the container. Okay, there you go. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to say margin zero auto. Okay, cool. So what that did was it took the container. I mean, let's break it down even better for you guys that I probably lost. Like, what exactly did we do? So, basically, we have the section, okay? The section is called bio. Then we say, hey, this is the container of it. 
the maximum width that we want this to be is 1400 pixels okay and we want this to be centered now anything inside of this container we're gonna make it into uh, display flex so both of these items are using flex boxes okay so that's what we did there okay and we're gonna still do a, a couple of more changes so I'm gonna remove this padding from here instead of the bio having the padding I'm gonna put the padding on on the paragraph so I'm gonna do this and on the padding on the centered logo centered so now we could actually control the padding a little bit more okay save that all right there you go now one thing that I forgot to tell you guys when you did my web developer starter kit and you know to install it and everything I will say try to get this which is called beautify so Adam beautify search beautify on your settings and then to the install search beautify there and then install this so what's cool about this is that you're gonna be able to beautify your all, almost all of your files you know everything from crystal to CSS SCSS right like literally almost everything you could think of you can beautify it and you're gonna be fine now what we're gonna do we're gonna check on Adam beautify click on settings and we're gonna go to SCSS click there and we're gonna say beautify on save so what that's gonna do is every time you save it beautifies your your code if I click controls control Z you can see uh, the difference all right so as I save control s automatically everything gets beautified now the next thing that I want to do you see how we did padding on everything as far as like you know top and bottom let's do this top and bottom padding is gonna be zero for paragraph and for the logo center and then now on our bio we're gonna say padding we're gonna say a hundred pixels top and bottom and zero left and right save that and there you go now you have something more more better okay now the next video what we're gonna do we're gonna basically build this section here which is gonna have all of the latest videos all right guys so I'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye this video is brought to you by CodingFace.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit a website. It's the only place where you're going to learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. CodingFace.com. Keep it real. Keep it true.